Most or majority African countries shall begin to stop and place an embargo on the exportation of timber of whatsoever kind to Europe, America, and to other continents, countries, and nations overseas. Rather, they shall use their good quality wood in the pop industry and many other industries which they shall open and operate in their various nations by buying technological know-how, build and assemble heavy-duty machines for the factories or companies' production lines to finishing level, into parceling, into parceling finished goods, just ready for direct consumption in the market. I see this so typical of Chad, Mali, Gabon, Ivory Coast, Togo, Tunisia, no longer to Asia, Nigeria in particular, Togo especially in Lome, and Mozambique. One that shall so much help these African nations come together and use the same trademark stamps and emblem upon similar finished products produced by all African nations from their raw timber trees, which should be the very high quality which, which should be of very high quality to be exported to foreign nations, countries and investors and to other continents. This shall fly high the economy of these African countries and force different continents to begin building real houses using bricks and blocks the more rather than hard export wood from African countries. Even African nations who are rich in rubber raw material shall begin to buy technology and heavy duty machines added to the production line of semi-finished processing machines so that employment of their country people is inevitable and they can use and export their very own finished rubber products we shall not just increase their economy, but boost their morals and satisfaction, especially rubber finished processing products like slippers, shoes, sandals, tires, fibers, clothing, fiber clothing, watches, long tennis ball, football, volleyball, what have you. So rapidly but surely, Africa is becoming a giant continent. Oh, glory to God. The next